everybody. This video is brought to you by Paint22 and all my sponsors. Thank you for your support and can't wait to get the video started. Let's go. Hey, welcome to Raven Oak Art. My name is Caleb Knowles and I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day. I'm joined today by my good friend AJ Aziki from AJAziki.com. Um, What's up, everybody? <laughs> I'm going to ask him some questions as he goes along and does his painting and we're going to let him just go and do his magic. Mm -hmm. What's up, everybody? AJ Ziggy with AJZiggy.com. Appreciate y'all stopping in to uh, Caleb's uh, Caleb's studio. It's a wonderful studio, and we're having a good time, chilling out, making it happen. Got this 12 by 12 stretched canvas, primed. It ain't got near not enough on it. <laughs> Ashy, okay? And uh, and uh, we're just going to blaze it. We're going to blaze it real quick. Uh, been having a great time over here, chilling. Hmm. Gotta, gotta stay hydrated. I don't know if soda pop is hydration, but it's close enough. No, I, I hold on. Yeah, let me, yeah, let me hold, hang on to some, or I won't kick it. Right there. All right, here we go. All right, live and direct. Bam, palette knife action. Got this, that little huckleberry right there. Then I got this diamond face shovel too, okay? So we're just doing only palette knives for this painting. Here. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Um, you know, the I like palette knives for a lot of reasons, but one of those reasons is we are not, uh, I just wipe it off on a napkin or something like that. If I need to, I don't got to clean it up, no solvents, nothing like that. Just get right to it. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so let's hit this here. And, and just to kind of go ahead and explain, we're using mm -hmm. acrylic paint, not oil for this one, correct? Yeah, exactly. Check it out. Boom. I just threw it on a, on a piece of cardboard. You know, there ain't no need to get too fancy. I'm going to use it and, uh, and and have a good time doing that. Okay? Fair enough. <laughs> All right. So, let's... All right. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut in. Mm, I'm going to cut in. Let me see here. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do right now. Let's... We just wing it. Yeah. Well. Let's just go. Let's see here. Let's drop some of them in there. With some some of that yellow look like it got mixed with something else, but it's all good. Yeah, just blaze things down, put it in there, and you kind of feel it as you go along sometimes. And uh, you know, the main thing is have fun, have fun, y'all. Yeah. What was I guess your uh, origin in the painting, man? Like, how'd you get into this? Uh, yeah, you know, like we, we all have these things inside of us that tell us we should do things or shouldn't do things. You got to be careful with. You gotta be careful what the voices y'all listen to, but there's a, but you know, there's also that positive voice that's like, yo, you know, uh, you gotta, you gotta get after this thing in a way that, you know, is right for you, and and so I I, I followed that, uh, and at the time, I mean, I took a, uh, you know, hundred percent pay cut, <laughs> but it's all good. I mean, you can only imagine. That's just how it is. Like when, uh, cause I'm full time, I do this all day, all night. Do it for a living, and I'm so grateful that I can. Uh, and uh, and uh, you know, I have a, have a have a blast doing it, and I get to meet a lot of art folks uh, who are great, like Caleb here, who I'm grateful to consider and call a friend, fellow artist, and uh, somebody whom I uh, respect in the game and in life. So uh, make sure y'all subscribe to Caleb's channel, Raven Oak. Check out his stuff, buy his artwork, um, and that's you know that's, that's that. Keep watching. <laughs> I appreciate it. And if you guys uh, do get a chance, click that thumbs up button. Make sure to click that subscribe button. Like AJ said, it yeah. really helps out our channel. Yeah. And make sure to share it, man. AJ deserves it because I mean his artwork is amazing, and a lot of people are gonna want to see these videos. So. Yeah. Um, I was also going to ask, man, um, What's up? I was just wondering, um, you know, yeah. a lot of people don't know this about me because I don't really advertise it on the channel, but yeah. I served in the Marine Corps, yeah. and I know you served in the Marine Corps, yeah. and I was just wondering, like, um, if you have any, how has that helped you in life, and also, how has that maybe helped you as an artist, like, uh... I was kind of a... So, all right. So, uh, all right. So, let's unpack the question a little bit here. So, you said... Yeah. So, I served in the Marine Corps, honorable discharge, got out in, like, forever ago, like, a couple lifetimes back, <laughs> uh, uh, and, uh, you know, had a, had a great time. You know, something that I think really helped me a lot 
uh, in the Marine Corps was exposure. Mm. Exposure to people, to ideas, to things, and understanding, uh, um, you know, how to get things done as a team. And, you know, we live in this world with other human beings, so therefore, you know, you got to be a team player. You know, you got you to know how to make things happen, and you got to know how to set your differences aside and, uh, and work through things and, yeah. learn, and learn how to communicate, you know. So uh, a lot of a lot of those things. I mean, I, a lot. I learned a lot, but that's that's one of those things. Working as a team, and I'm, you know, I'm a I'm a solo kind of guy. So uh, I, I uh, grateful for that time, and grateful for uh, all the wonderful people I got to serve with because there was a mm-hmm. lot of them, a lot of them. Yeah, I I often get asked that question, like yeah. you know, what are some of the, the things you learned from your service? And I always say the same thing. Like, yeah. I learned how to communicate with other people, even totally. people I disagree with. Yeah. And um, I definitely think that has helped me in regards to like um, communicating with artists, because a lot of times, let's be real, we don't. <laughs> there's a lot of times we disagree with other artists about stuff and curators and stuff like that. So. Yeah. I would say from a business side, it has definitely been very beneficial because it helped me, uh, I guess, kind of suck up my pride and just be able to roll with the flow on certain things. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that's a good damn point. Yeah, because, hey, y'all can understand it's the military. You don't always get your say in things. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, but there's also a bigger picture, and good leaders know the bigger picture. One hundred percent. You know, and they can you know you might be like, man, I ain't trying to do all that. I mean, I don't want to stay late. I don't want to do all this. I don't want to, you know. But you know, it's like after you find yourself in the leadership position, you can totally understand why those things had to happen, and it all becomes uh, uh, evident then. Uh, but when you're a new boot kind of dude and it was like man i'm just trying to get my trying to go on live on it's friday i'm gonna try to get out there and go and go and have some fun (laughs) (laughs) you know that it's like well you know you don't think about that you know but that's that's a thing you know it's a thing definitely definitely man and um i know you you know, being your friend, yeah. I know that you're one of the best business and client artists I know. Yeah, and I was just you. wondering if you had, um, like, any advice for maybe people trying to evolve themselves into someone who's able to do this full time. Well, yeah, totally. So, you need to understand where you're putting your money. You know, like, where you're putting your money, why you're putting your money in these different places, avenues. Um, and you also, I think most of all, you know, this isn't like a, I don't know if this is a business thing to say, but you need to decide, you need to make a decision that this is what you want to do full time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and it's like, well, if this is what you want to do full time, then you need to go on and say, I need to stack my chips. I need to get my supplies or whatever. Why, if you're busting a nine to five, nine to five or whatever you're doing, Get enough money set up to where you have months of reserves, and then, um, and then you know, make sure everything's paid up. Don't don't start doing nothing when you're in a bad spot, you know. And, and there's plenty of there. Well, no, there's not plenty. There are stories of people who say, "Hey, you know what? I'm just going to chase my dream," and they actually make it. That is not the norm. Mm. That is not the norm. That is like one of you know. That's. It happens, but that is not the norm, you know. Um, and there's there's a lot that's involved in these things and these decisions. If you have a family, you need to think about that. If you have, uh, you know, certain certain types of debt that are that need your attention. If you have two cars and they're not paid off, and you got, you know, like there's a lot, you know, you need to be smart with these things and. Uh, and make sure that you uh, make the decision and say, this is, I am committed to this. Not sitting on the fence, not like, this looks like a good idea. I know so-and-so did this and they're doing this much money or whatever. It ain't that. We're talking about you sit in quiet, in peace, and you make that choice for yourself. And if you have a family, you need to really think that over with who, you know, with your, uh, whoever you, you know, husband, wife, you know, like whatever, whatever y'all got going on out there. So that way you know it's the right choice for your family. After that, after you make that decision and you're like, this is what I'm doing. Be, and, and it's like, why? You got to have a why. Because if you don't have a why, 
there's too many distractions. There's too much stuff in the world that's going to knock you over to the side. And you're going to be like, and, and then you'll start questioning why I'm doing this in the first place. Yeah. Instead of let me do what, what I need to do. Let me do what is me. Let me do what makes sense to me. Right. Um, and then you need to, uh, you need to set some parameters, some timelines. You need to say, Hey, I'm going to, you know, at the end of the year, I need to be earning X amount of dollars. Right. If you say, Hey, I need to be doing a, whatever it is, a hundred grand a year. Then that means you need to be doing three, $300 a day, three and some change a day. How are you going to do that? Right. Then you need to start asking questions from people, network with people yeah. and uh, say, well, how, how you know, and, and people that are doing that. Um, you know, and then, and they'll tell you, they'll help you, mm. they'll guide you. They'll say, Hey, you know what? This, this is how you, I, I run a eBay store or an Etsy store, or I run a, uh, um, a, 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 a tent market kind of thing, you know, over at the, at the park on Wednesdays, um, or whatever, whatever it is, you know, and that, and, and you'll be surprised that people are, uh, typically open to sharing what they have and what they've experienced. And that's called leverage um, because you're leveraging time. You don't have to put 5, 10, 15 years toward figuring things out when other people have already figured it out. It's leverage, right? So I would so, say those. So kind of going back to that, yeah. you know, um, one thing I always tell people is yeah. to find people who have knowledge on what you're trying to do. Yes. And, you know, kind of learn from them. Yeah. So, um how would you say, I guess, hanging out with artists that, you know, ha how has that ha affected your art career, hanging out with artists? And what have been some of the big benefits just from that? Uh, well, all right. So you can do, uh, so just like you can learn from what people are doing um, and to help propel what you got going on, you can also learn by um, by seeing the things that, you know, that they're not doing right. Some things are really mm -hmm. obvious. Some things, like they might have production on point, like they're out producing, but their marketing isn't there. Yeah. And no matter what, business will always be production and marketing. It'll always be that, you know, because you could be the greatest, whatever, sculptor or uh, musician or whatever it is in the arts, right? Visuals, whatever it is. And uh, if nobody knows who you are, no one's going to know how to obtain the services if you're like a musician or something. Or the products that you're uh, that you're kicking out. So you need to you need to have a great plan for that. Am I am I going with uh, uh, you know for for your marketing for your production and be disciplined. You know if it's like hey Monday through Wednesday I'm painting X amount of paintings. If it's uh, uh, and then after that what are you doing? Well I mean maybe you need to uh, get some marketing done. You know get some uh, you know start talking to people networking. Seeing who's out there, um, and if you know, and if that's your vocation, and that's something that you want to, uh, you know, you want to you want to do in this world, then you'll need to uh, you'll need you'll you'll need to you'll need to reach out. You'll need to reach out to people. Yeah, I think I think it's very interesting what you said, man. Um, yeah. I, it's like that saying, you know, a smart person learns from their mistakes, but a wise person learns from other people's mistakes. Mm -hmm. That's definitely something to kind of live by. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I never heard that. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one there. Yeah. But yeah, this this painting's turning out awesome. Very uh, polish. I think I got yeah. you know, I I it's interesting because you know you do a lot of impressionistic stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I kind of got an idea of what you're doing right now watching yeah. this. Because I do I, technically an impressionistic style myself. Just a very, you know, wet on wet different style. You're doing it with the acrylic paint. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm, it's starting to kind of look like a park to me. Am I on to something here? I don't, I'm just going, you're just man. going Yeah, I don't even know where it is. Well, it's somewhere in my soul, dog. It's where, just in Wherever there. it is, I, I like where it's yeah. at and like where it's going. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we, you know, we're just blazing this thing. Having fun with it, yeah, this is uh, awesome, man. and dropping these kind of things down in there, and there's all these shapes that are occurring. It has something to do with maybe rocks or something. Mm. You know, there's something in there, and maybe we'll we'll build up. Uh, let's build up like maybe a landmass here. We'll build up a landmass with some of that magenta, yeah. keeping these colors warm. That's very warm. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at you. I'm like, man, there really isn't like one, there is not one cool color. Yeah. There? 
I'm the only cool thing. <laughs> yeah, staying cool with AJZZ.com. On the other side of the pillow, right? Yeah, that's right, man. That is right. So here's this. Build these in. You know, and this is that free flow. Sometimes it's, it's, it's good to just it'll simply just free flow mm -hmm. and see what happens. You don't got to be so uh, uh, planned or, you know, orchestrate. Sometimes just get you some paint, blaze it, and see what happens, you know? Yeah. And, and you'd be surprised, you know? Like, I, I just kind of sat down. I was like, I wasn't really sure where it was going, and, and I still don't. But I'm, I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful to be able to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I often do that yeah. in our videos too, where yeah. I just, I'm like, we have a canvas in front of us, we're going to make it into something. And I yeah. think that's something an artist should do, you know. A lot of times, go in, your best work comes mm -hmm. when you ain't planning on doing it, so that's yeah. awesome. And it exercises those those imaginative faculties that we, for, that we forget to use and neglect to use. Yeah. Because things are, uh, you know, you can get what the hell you want now over the telephone or look at, I, you know, there's there's so much, like, there's so many things in this world that make it so you don't need to think. Um, and that's good because uh, it, it, it alleviates uh, a, you know, a lot of stress and pressure yeah. um, and gives us more time. However, we don't, you know, we end up not being able to come up with original things sometimes or uh, we have a hard time with doing that. And, and, it's, uh, and it happens. It happens to all of us. Yeah, so it's good to spend some time alone and, and allow things to allow things to be. You know, it's interesting you said that because I was I did an interview the other day with uh, Gavin with Gabby, and mm -hmm. she asked me what the goal of the channel was, and mm -hmm. it's it's kind of weird because when I first got started, the goal was just to get people to, into painting, mm -hmm. but now it's kind of evolved into getting people to use the part of their brain to be creative. Because like you said, we live in a world now where mm -hmm. everything's in our pocket. We don't really have to think for ourselves and stuff. Yeah. So, oh, man. I mean, y'all be going, <laughs> man, people be going on dates off the phone now. Like, man, you ain't got to go, you ain't even got to go say howdy to nobody. You just go do a little thing. Boom. I like that picture. Yeah. And that's that. You know, it's like uh, made to order, you know. And I, you know, gotta, you gotta go get out there. Yeah, say hello to people. We got um, some other artists coming on, like AJ. We got a friend of ours named Parisa coming on. She's actually a jewelry maker, so yeah. she'll be teaching us how to make jewelry. Oh, so make sure right. to tune in on that episode as well. Yeah, Speaking of making you use your brain, yeah. alternative ways besides painting. That's for real. And make sure y'all stay off drugs. Don't be using them alternative ways. All right, <laughs> stay yeah. off drugs, y'all. Be doing none of that bad stuff. <laughs> that was like, what? <laughs> but public service announcement. Yeah, they you pay, know? They pay for that. Or you? <laughs> yeah, I pay. I, we pay it in the future. You know, I keep people you. off drugs so they ain't acting up. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It looks like we don't need no so. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Uh, we got some of them. We just chisel up in there. You know, I, I lay I lay the paint on thick. You know what I'm so kind of seeing, that. like as I'm watching this. Boom. What's, what you got? You remember? Uh, I think it's called Joshua's Tree. I don't know him. So it's out in uh, near Twenty Nine Palms, and mm. um, it's like a desert, and there's like yeah. like the trees growing out in the desert. I've never like, been to Twenty Nine Palms, but I've heard lucky. of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was real real fortunate not to go there. So where where would you go, man? I was in Okinawa, Japan. Oh man, you one of them? <laughs> yeah, I'm one of them, mugs. Yeah, Oka, Okinawa was on my bucket list in my career. I yeah, never got yeah. to go there, but I'm, I still plan on going at some point in my life. Yeah. Checking out Japan. It's good to go, man. Go they treat you some, right. Go paint some cherry blossoms, you know. Yeah, that's the thing, man. Is that people they treat you right, and that's that's something I love. Is uh, go go grab a bite, go do this, go do that, and it's like service like they i mean someone could serve me some uh three out of five star food but they got a they got a they got a five star attitude like sign me up you'll see me again yeah you know it's all about service if y'all are out there art folks be of service to those who are your customers and potential clients right people that uh you know like love on them respect them and you know that's i mean that's that's probably some of the best business advice anybody could ever have yeah you know, respect your uh, respect your people, and you know, um, and if they don't do business with you, respect them still. Just respect people in general. You know, it'll take you a long way. Yeah. Um, so I'm over here editing the camera. Oh, okay. Sure we got All right. Some. All right. So it looks like I'm coming up to the to the end here. Um, I'm, I'm just 
just touching on a little bit. Let me put a little bit in here. Uh, definitely warm, nice warm painting. Not sure where it came from. This came from no splatter on it. Yeah, parts unknown. I'm chilling, man. I'm just kicking it. Um, you, you know, I typically throw paint on things. That's what he's saying. I, I literally just get paint and throw it. Yeah. But I'm in a chill mode. I'm, I'm kicking it. I'm having a good time. And uh, there'll be plenty of me throwing paint uh, in, in future episodes here and, and on my channel. You know, we were, you were talking about the direction of a, of a channel and, and when you first started. And that's why I was thinking. I was thinking about that and what kind of direction I wanted to go in. Um, and it almost seems like it doesn't really matter, right? Because it ends up being what it's going to be, right? Exactly. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's like painting, man. You don't have to go into it with a plan. It's going to yeah. be what it becomes, you know? Yeah, totally. I think... Um, That's about it there. Boom. One, one more quick thing um, yeah. that we probably should let everybody know is me and AJ are actually hosting and curating our um, a show in Chattanooga, Tennessee called Gold, The Golden Ticket Show. AJ, if you could tell them about that. Yeah. So, uh, The Golden Ticket called the golden ticket because if you pull and draw the golden ticket 75 percent off any paint and that's there that night so you're gonna have straight hitters from aj ziki and from caleb knows so that's a big deal you're you get yourself a, a mighty fine piece of fine fine artwork for your home your office for a gift whatnot now there's gonna be other uh drawings as well there's gonna be some uh free raffle giveaways free entry up in that mud. I mean, it's a, a show's going to be great. I'm really looking forward to it. Real grateful to uh, to be able to be a part of that. It's over at Arts Built uh, here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, From, uh, I believe, 5 to 8, correct? 5 to 8. Um, we're going to have some chow in there. We have a couple little things to chew on. Um, it's all um, family friendly. So, you know, come in with the fam and kick it. Uh, and then we have, uh, uh, we have live music. Um, we have some entertainment in there. We got some some poets, some singers, you know, and uh, you it's gonna know. be a, it's gonna be a fun night for sure. Yeah, totally. Uh, I'm like I say, totally, totally grateful for the opportunity and experience. And and if you guys would like, y'all can see the flyer on our uh, um, Instagram, uh, Caleb Knowles Art or yeah. Raven Oak Art or yeah. AJ Aziki, I believe. What's your um, Instagram? Yeah. AJ Ziki. Well, I was right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, A J A Z I K E. And then if you like, go online, AJZiki.com. I'll be adding some new things on there on Monday. Yeah, and uh, I'll, I'll have I'll have your Instagram title underneath you so they can okay, see it. Okay, cool. Give me a follow, y'all. I really appreciate it. And uh, let me know what y'all think about this painting when y'all message me. All right, there we go. Cool. I'm digging it. I'm feeling nice about it. Got one little piece right here. I'm going to skinny this tree out right here on the end. Bam, bam. Oh, wow. And then just chop it in. Look at that contrast. Yeah. That's amazing. And just skinny it in a little bit. What I mean by skinny it in is uh, like it's a, like negative uh, painting, right? So instead of painting the tree, I'm, just, I'm painting around the tree. And then that'll give you uh, what you're looking for. Yeah, that's a useful technique. Go on. Yeah. All right, y'all. This is AJ Ziki. It's AJ Ziki. Dot to the com with Caleb Knowles in his studio on his show. Having a blast. Kicking it. We about to go eat, man? We're about to chow down, man. All right. Cool. But before we do that, man, I wanted to thank everybody for watching. Uh, make sure to click that like and subscribe button. So you guys can see many awesome artists that are coming back on and checking out other videos on Raven Oak. I know AJ has another one coming out pretty soon. Um, yeah, like I said, thank you guys. Uh, Y'all have a blessed day and happy painting to you.